So Vice Lang, you like to be ahead of the game. You like to innovate all of the time. And I must admit, this is a cracking idea. Can you tell us about this product? Uh, why it was brought to market, please? Yeah, it's a unique product. The idea behind is to use the tool changer as a storage for the, for the pellets and the work pieces. So we don't have an external storage. It can go to any machine tool in the regular tool changer. So there's no presetting required of the machine tool, no hydraulics, no, no pneumatics. It can, you can move it from one machine to the other. So yeah. obviously you've got the Robotrex, which is top of the range, all singing, mm. all dancing, as we say, uh, automation. Fair to say this is for somebody's first, um, first step into automation. Maybe you grow into something like the Robotrex. So can you just show us how it, uh, how it would work? Absolutely. We have this kind of what we call hoods. Mm -hmm. It's available with HSK, with SK40, with BT40, so that it fits most common machine spindles. Mm -hmm. It's an aluminium hood. The workpiece itself is clamped manually in our centering vise. Then the hood. Over the workpiece, turned by 90 degrees. And then it's locked tightly in the hood. And now the complete unit goes to the tool changer, like a regular tool, like an end mill, like a drill. Mm -hmm. Then the automatic tool changer interchanges the complete unit in the spindle, and the spindle positions it in the zero-point clamping system. Then the spindle conducts a 90 degree movement. So the pellet with the vise is locked securely and accurately in the zero-point clamping system. And after the machining process of the part, the hood comes back into the zero-point clamping system, unlocks the zero-point clamping system, and the whole unit goes back to the tool changer. So you, you could have, obviously we've got three here, just, just on the table, but there's no reason you couldn't have three, four, five in the machine tool. If, if the magazine is big enough, you can have up to 10, 20. We think at the beginning, two to five parts for manufacturing parts in the lunch break mm -hmm. or in the unmanned evening hours, that should be the beginning for most customers. Sure, because obviously we, we're talking a lot more about automation. We're here in Italy, but not mm -hmm. just in Italy, around the world. But quite often, you know, if cycle time's long enough, you may not need a robot. If, if cycle time's three, four hours, correct? Um, you know, just three of these, you're talking a, a night shift, you don't need a robot. Possibly, yeah. We have some, even if it's small parts, 80 by 80 millimeters, for instance, they sometimes have cycle times up to 40, 45 minutes. So it's some nice extra time you can create with a very low effort. Mm -hmm. So this is a world exclusive here at EMO 2021. Ex so, but I know you've had some experience with customers already. So when you put this into the market, what's the feedback been? Feedback was great so far. We have to say the hood is developed by another German company we are cooperating with. So they collected already some experience with their customers. We put our idea with the pellet and the zero point clamping system, which makes the system even more exclusive to customers. So. Mm -hmm. And just finally, in terms of the programming, there is no program. You've mentioned there's no hydraulics, pneumatics. Okay. We're essentially doing a tool change, aren't we? We're doing a mm -hmm. tool change, uh, dropping it over the component, going Excellent. through 90 degrees and taking it out again. Correct. It's programmed like a regular tool. The only thing you need to have to do is some spindle positioning to find the correct position in the zero point clamping system. But in generally, it's a, a standard sub program with three or four lines. It's very easy to program. Everyone who operates a machine can operate this automation system. Brilliant, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing some of these in the field. I'm sure that will happen. <laughs> thank you very much.